Sacrificial lamb. You will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. <laughs> Yankee. Got a name? Leon. Quiet type, eh? I'm Luis Serra. Guess you, me. Big the wrong spot to vacation, eh? Hey! Stop it! You move, I move. And I'm beat up in offices. I can see you're thinking. Bet you've been in spots like this before, huh? I guess you're here looking for someone. <clears throat> One more guess. Maybe some missing senorita? Young girl. Talk. Now. All right. See, si. her chatter about moving a senorita. Moving her. Where? Who knows? But later. Saw some men dragging someone. <clears throat> To the old church. <coughs> ah, hanging with you. Not healthy. <coughs> ah. 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 We're not done here! Later, amigo. Shit, I took my gear. No gear. All right. Condor one to roost. I've located Baby Eagle. It sounds like she's being kept in some church. Great. That's good news. I heard it from this guy I met. He said his name is Luis Serra. There's something fishy about him. I need you to run a background check. We'll call Condor One. I'll see what I can find. In the meantime, make your way to that church. Right. I'm probably due for confession anyway. Condor One, out. All right, let me see something. Here, um, all right, so I'm not, I'm going to turn the music audio all the way off. This is just not something that I'm really interested in, in the music of this game. Plus, I think it'll make it sound a little bit better for the combination of the commentary and the voice lines that you see in the video. Plus, when I go and eventually maybe make a trailer for this, not having the music overlaying would be beneficial. These kitchen knives do not last very long, so... <laughs> it may not be too obvious, but, uh... Ah, fuck. Oops. Die, motherfucker. How about you take his, uh... How about you take his hatchet? Hey! <laughs> I don't know how Leon knows that killing rats is going to be beneficial, but he's going to do it. Come on. Mickey, no! Come on. Got him. <laughs> Hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> Alright, so we got a little bit of a puzzle here. We got to run over here and we got to jack up this. And then we got to run to the other side and get through that door there before it closes. So just run, fool, run. 
You have plenty of time, though, so you don't have to stress it too much. Just gotta remember where the door is. <laughs> All of our stuff is now back. I'll be taking these back. Along with some other shit. <laughs> and a lock we can't get through. And here we go. Over here, stranger. Who's that? I'm not going out there just yet. There's another mouse somewhere I want to kill. It's around here somewhere. You listen for the squeaks. Gotcha. Pest control complete. So it gives you some gemstones that you can trade in with this shopkeeper here. Let's do some business. And there's the uh <laughs> nice work. I destroyed the blue medallions and I did pest control. New for you, mate. So this guy here was present in the original game and he works pretty much the same and there was never really any kind of uh, storyline reason for him being here. He just sort of is here. And that's, uh, you know, it's kind of goofy that he exists at all. Why the hell is he here? What is his purpose? <laughs> like, what, what is his benefit to helping me? Now, in the original game, he was clearly a Ganado. In this, he doesn't seem to be one. I don't know what the deal is there. But, you know, he's here. But you'd go and you'd sell shit to him. And you have these items here that you can socket gems into. So, you know, there's a benefit there. When you have an item like this, where you have four separate ones, I think it's actually of a benefit to you to stick four different colors in instead of trying to match one color all the way through. Whereas with this, it's probably better to um, socket it because you get a like you get a duo bonus you get a, you get a bonus depending on what colors you stick in there and the quality of the gems and all that so this ruby is the least amount the sapphire is a little bit more the yellow diamond is more than that and that increases the cost or the value of it but if you match colors you get a certain bonus if you put different colors in you get different bonuses but if you match colors you get more of a bonus but if you if you have this many different crystals and you stick them all in there these different gemstones you stick them all in there it'll be worth even more i think i don't know i'm not sure about that i could be making all of that shit up <laughs> i'll pay a pretty penny for that ah pretty penny for that so a number of my weapons are already upgraded completely. So I'm not really going to see much of a benefit to... Like, okay, so the knife is upgraded most of the way. The black tail, which is going to be my primary weapon through the majority of the game, is already upgraded uh, completely, including the exclusive increase. Some of these other weapons, not so much. But, you know, I'm going to I'm going to put more of an emphasis on the bolt thrower in this run through. I could also buy some other stuff here. Why not try your hand at a new gun, stranger? Might save your life. All of the stuff that I bought previously. Since I'm putting more of an emphasis on the bolt thrower, I will be upgrading that, that on for size. more. See how that feels, mate. Fella like yourself should notice the difference right away. Gotta select. Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> oh, rifle ammo. Uh, I don't want to be carrying that around, so I'm gonna pull the rifle out and just. Uh, Actually, you know what? I can I can do a little bit of consolidation here. Oh, I don't have a red herb to combine that with.
bolts. All right, so is that enough space? I just want to pull the... I just want to pull the uh, rifle out. And load those... Uh, Pull those um, rifle rounds into here. I'm doing too much of an explanation of what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm not going to be using this much this early in the game, though, so I'm just going to be stowing it back. Ah, don't want that. Store! Okay. Can I store this? No, I can't. How about these? No. You know, I don't think I need everything I have here. So, I'm going to store you. Oh, shotgun, shells, submachine gun. Yeah, you're going to... I'm going to store you. Because I want to have some extra room on me, just in case. So what I got to do is go in this direction, because... <laughs> Die, what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> Hopefully I can get through this entire section without using much at all ammunition. And that's what the bolt thrower is good for. Now, if I remember correctly, I'm not really going to be able to do too much sneaking in this area. I'll get discovered pretty quickly and easily. So, I'm going to be in a running fight through this whole area. But, we'll see how this works out. Oh, see, I got seen. Alright, this is where I'm going to make my stand. Hey, yellow herb. It's kind of useless, but I'll take it. Come at me, bro. <laughs> How about you, uh... Broke my knife. How convenient. <laughs> this idiot's throwing dynamite and taking them out for me. Whoa! <laughs> this door's locked. From the inside, so they can't get in through here. They're just gonna keep trying, and this idiot's gonna blow them up for me. Anybody else gonna? Oh. Oh, you asshole. You got more? <laughs> Never gets old. Oops. No, kill him. 
Okay, I think I lost a bolt. Fired it into a wall I can't reach. But, you know, you can't win them all, can you? Uh, there should be... Uh, there it is. I lost that bolt, too, it looks like. Should have just uh, fired a pistol round at it. Where are you? Oh, shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. <laughs> I didn't intend to jump down there. It just sort of happened. Time to go with the old pistol. Whoa, glitch fest. Try staying dead. It would really be beneficial to me. Dead, you fucker. <laughs> and you. Don't make me start with you. Did I get everyone? But anyway, the thing I need is here. That's basically all I needed. I don't think there's anything else to... Oh, I mean, there's some random items to pick up. Ammunition green herbs, that kind of thing. Oh. How are you? Kick. I, I think maybe I got everybody. Got most of my bolts back. You know, I kind of miss the original game that let you... Oh, there's a small key. That let you go and kick doors in in order to open them more quickly. Because that was, uh, that was really convenient for taking or knocking down enemies that were just on the other side of the... Oh, there's some handgun ammunition just floating there, and I can't reach it. Leon, just snatch it out of the air. It'll be fine. How do I get over here? I don't know if I can get over there. Is that a place, like, that exists in this game? <laughs> let, me, let me just cheat for a second and use my modded... Um, screenshot camera to see if this is actually a place. Uh, there's a guy back here. You know, this is probably just an enemy closet. Uh, just, yeah, that's what it is. It's an enemy closet. 
place for new enemies to spawn into the environment so you can keep being attacked. So when I go and I complete something like um, opening up this gate, which is what you're going to need to do to escape from this area, it'll give an opportunity for more enemies to spawn into the environment. <laughs> Just burning through my kitchen knives here. And this will probably run it over here. We'll spawn more enemies. It's just going to keep happening until I finish my objectives in this area. That nah, Ruby. This is just to make it so you can't grab your objective and then run out real quick. Jumps. Alright, I'm gonna fight my way out instead of just running to the escape because, you know, it's more fun this way. Who's got dynamite? Yes. Oh, shit! <laughs> I expected... I was about to say that the good thing about this bolt launcher is that it it tends to um, stagger the enemy instead of just damaging them. Like, because the bolts are heavy, I guess. But it didn't then. So we got... Did you have anything? Yes, you did. Somebody else here. I should bother killing them. Ah, right, whatever. Moving on. Just a simple simple jam the thing in the thing and then hold the button kind of thing. I don't know. Nothing special. Now that small key, we can use that to open up the door that open up this um... no. No idiot. <laughs> Elegant mask. How elegant. Wrong way. I've been... Just, uh... Waiting for you, mate. Come, welcome. What can I interest you in? And 23 grand. How nice. Molding a weapon to suit your specific needs. <laughs> uh, it's a thing of beauty, isn't it? It's no sense in not using it right away, I guess. This kind of pleasant travels. Alright, so I'm gonna save here and then uh, end this episode.